Hi everyone, my name is Roshni and today I'll be talking about Sustainable Development Goals 11, which is Sustainable Cities and Communities. Let's get right into it. So for data and statistics, it is said that the world's cities occupies only 3% of Earth's land and occupies 60 to 80% of energy consumption and also occupies 75% of carbon emissions. So the purpose of this video is to find 11 targets for sustainable development goals and the solution and methods that is taken to overcome this. So the first one is improving public transportation. So if we improve facilities, this is to establish the correct institutions, come up with strategy and operations to improve the public transportation and upgrading other public other public transportation like bus cabs or anything else and also investing in mass transit next we have tightening transportation laws so this is to ensure everybody's following the law and for whoever who doesn't follow the law they will face their consequences which is punishment or they will uh, get summoned okay next we have investing in renewable energy do you know our city account for up to 80 percent of energy consumption as well as 75 percent of global waste and carbon emissions well this is why uh, another solution that we can come up with is investing in renewable renewable energy example like solar panel green infrastructures and so on so in this way, 29% of energy is from renewable sources. That means we might save 29% of energy from 80% of energy consumptions. Okay, next we have uh, the fourth solution, which is having good infrastructure. In this way, our economic progression and increases and also our tourism attraction increases. People would also want to visit our country more often because of the housing scenes and having good infrastructures that people get amused and attracted by. Next, we have promoting sound urban planning. And this is to have sustainable building, green spaces and sustainable lifestyles. Okay. And next, we have improving or developing squatters or slum areas. So this is like relocating people to better places. And not only that, we are providing children with better education and homes. And maybe they might also be, uh, they might also be, become better leaders in the future. And next, we have improving physical environment. Improving the physical environment, for example, like water supply, sanitization, waste collection, electricity, drainage, road paving, and street lighting. And people will grow in a better environment. Next, we have starting awareness campaigns. So people might gain knowledge from it and learn more about the world. Okay. And last but not least, we have improving houses and improving sanitization system. Well, this is to maintain a clean and conducive environment and avoid diseases from spreading around. That links to the transmission of cholera, typhoid and dysentery. That's end of my presentation today. Thank you.